Hello guys, it's me Teacher Hanji and welcome to Teacher Hanji's channel. So for today's tutorial, we will determine the equation of quadratic function given its table of values. Let us have our first example. Let us determine the equation of quadratic function given the table negative 2, 16, negative 1, 10, 0, 6, 1, 4, and 2, 4. And to find the equation of the quadratic functions, we need to use the general form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So from here, we need to identify the values of a, b, and c. So to do that, let us have the first step. So our first step is to pick three ordered pairs from the table. You may choose any ordered pairs that you want from a given table. But for now, I'll be choosing 0, 6, 1, 4, and 2, 4 after choosing the three ordered pairs. Now, make an equation using that ordered pair. Since we know that these ordered pairs are equivalent to the values of x and y, then from the general form, we will substitute the ordered pairs that we have. So, for the first one, my equation will be 6 is equal to 0 squared plus b times 0 plus c. Now, for the second one, it will be equal to 4 is equal to a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c. Same with the first one, I just substitute the values of x and y from our general form. And for the last one, it will be equal to... 4 is equal to a times 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c. So from here, let us simplify this equation. So the first one will be equal to 6 is equal to c. Next, for the second one, it will be equal to 4 is equal to a plus b plus c. Next, for the third one, it will be 4 times 2 squared is equal to 4 times a, so we have 4a. 2 times b is equal to 2b, and then plus c. Now, this one will be our equation 1. This one will be our equation 2, and the last one will be our equation 3. So, we will use these equations to find the values of a, b, and c. So, let us start with equation 1. Since 6 is equal to c, Using symmetric property, this one is the same with c is equal to 6. Now, let us get our equation 2, which is 4 is equal to a plus b plus c. Since in equation 1, it says that c is equal to 6, let us substitute it to our equation 2. So, we have 4 is equal to a plus b plus 6. So, why do we need to do this? For us to solve either A or B. So you can isolate A or B here depends on what values you want to unlock. But for now, I will be isolating A to the right side. So I will use addition property of equality to isolate A here. So I will add both sides of the equation, negative 6 minus B. What for? So 6 minus 6 will be equal to 0. And b minus b is equal to 0 as well. Therefore, the answer will be negative 2 for 4 minus 6 minus b is equal to a. Using symmetric property, that is the same with a is equal to negative 2 minus b. So, we will use now the value of c and value of a for our equation 3, which is 4 is equal to 4a plus 2b plus c. So, let us substitute A and C. So, we have 4 is equal to 4 times negative 2 minus B plus 2B plus 6. Distribute 4 to the terms inside the parentheses. So, we have 4 is equal to negative 8 minus 4B plus 2B plus 6. This time, let us combine the like terms. So, the right side will be equal to negative 4b plus 2b is equal to negative 2b and negative 8 plus 6 is equal to negative 2. So, 
using addition property of equality, let us isolate negative 2 be here. So, let us add both sides positive 2. So, that negative 2 plus 2 will be equal to 0. And 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. Now, since B here still has a coefficient negative 2, then let us divide both sides by negative 2. And 6 divided by negative 2 is equal to negative 3. And negative 2 divided by negative 2 is equal to positive 1. Using symmetric property of equality, let's say that P is equal to negative 3. Now that we know the values of A, P, and C, yet we can substitute A to our general form here because there is still a variable B in this equation. Since we know that the value of B in our equation 3 is negative 3, then let us substitute it to our equation 2. So we have A is equal to negative 2 minus negative 3, which is equal to A is equal to negative 2 plus 3. And negative 2 plus 3 is equal to positive 1. Now that we know the value of A, which is positive 1, value of B, which is negative 3, and value of C, which is positive 6, let us now substitute it to our general form. So we have Y is equal to 1X squared plus negative 3X plus 6, which is equal to Y is equal to X squared, no need to write 1 here, minus 3x plus 6. And this is the general form of this table of values. So that is how to find the equation of quadratic function given table of values. First, you just need to get three ordered pairs from the given table. Second, make an equation. And for those equations, find the values of A, B, and C using substitution or elimination depends to what is needed to the given equation to find the values of A, B, and C. So that's it for our video. Thank you for watching. See you again in my next video. Bye!